Hello, TT Workshop here. Today, let's talk about this thing. Tripod, or the three-leg thing, whatever you call it. Tripod is such an essential tool in photography that we should never overlook it. There are many different kinds and configurations of tripods, and I will demonstrate the features and the basic operations of each kind and get you kick-started. And today, we are talking about travel to full-size, twist-lock, ball-head tripod. So first thing first, when you get your tripod, what do you have? Well, you have the legs, the ball head, a quick plate, and there's probably, there's probably a carry case as well. And usually there's a hidden pouch as well, right here. And inside the hidden pouch, there are some tools and never throw these away. They're very useful. It's a spike feet for using the tripod in sandy or snowy areas, and an Allen wrench for adjusting the tension on the leg. So now let's look at the tripod itself. We have rubber feet underneath the tripod legs. They are removable. Usually it's 3 eighths for the thread size. And then you have the twist locks. They are in charge of adjusting the height of the tripod leg. Then you have these tabs, and they are used for adjusting the foot span or the footprint of the tripod. So you do need to adjust a little bit. Then you can unlock it. Usually you have a few different steps. For example, here. Then you have the central column and the ball head itself. To adjust the height, you grab the tripod and untwist to unlock the section. And you only need to do this a little bit, so don't overdo it, otherwise, you will take a long time to lock it down again. See? That's all it takes. And it's quick. And there's a trick as well. If you need to fully extend all the legs, you can just grab all of them, give a little twist, and there you go. Same thing for closure. Unlock. Down. It is much faster than operating each individual lock separately. Then, mounting the camera. So here, you have the quick plate. You can just unlock the clamp and take off the plate. And on some tripods, you might have a safety feature where you have to pull the knob out and twist to take it out. Now, this safety feature is set in place so that even if you don't have everything tightened up properly, there's still no way for the entire thing to fall out. Cameras have a universal quarter inch 20 thread for mounting quick plate. So you can just put the plate on. Tighten up, finger tight it. And you can use an Allen wrench or a coin to finish it up. So I have lowered my tripod by adjusting the footprint of it so that we can fit everything in the shot. Sorry, my studio is really small. Anyway, um, we also have the central column here. You can unlock the central column and adjust the height of it. But usually we try to utilize the height adjustment by using the three legs rather than using the central column because it's much more stable that way. And you also see this little hook underneath the central column. It's loaded by spring. And the idea for this is that you can put some weight like a sandbag or a bag of stone or your own backpack underneath it. And the entire tripod platform is gonna be much more stable. Now let's mount the camera. So you should make the bubble leveler towards yourself 
so that you can still see it behind the camera. Put the camera on there and twist to lock the clamp. And speaking of the three adjustment knobs, we have the first one, which is usually the one on the bottom. It is the panning lock. When you lock it down, you cannot pan the head anymore. Okay, so the second knob here is the ball head lock knob. When this is all the way tightened up, the entire ball head is locked. And the third one, which is also the biggest, is the friction adjustment knob. So as you can see, when the friction is all the way up, even if the locking knob is unlocked, you still cannot move the ball anywhere. So what's the difference between these two and how and when you should use them accordingly? The thing is, it depends, but um, I prefer to set my ball head lock to be unlocked and the friction to be relatively high. As you can see, it's not all the way tightened. It's somewhat tight, which is enough to hold the camera weight over here. By doing this, I can reposition my camera without making any adjustment to the knobs and still very steady and safe. But when you are taking a long time exposure or a landscape photo that you don't really need to adjust that much after you are done, then you should use the main lock knob to lock it down so nothing happens during the shot. Now let's talk about leveling. There's a bubble leveler on the top of the clamp and you should always utilize this to make sure you have a level shot. So we can unlock the knob and reposition it until you can see the bubble right in the middle. And then lock it down. So in order to shoot vertically, you can unlock the entire ball head and you see there's a notch there's a notch opening on one side of the ball head then you can put it here for vertical shots and of course this would put the entire weight off axis of the central column so for professional work it's really not ideal so that's when L plates come in. You probably have heard or seen uh, something called the L plate, which is a half bracket that gave you this quick plate on both the bottom of the camera and the side of the camera. That way you can mount the camera directly over here. So everything is still on axis. And now let's talk about some special features of this tripod. And this might or might not apply to your own tripod. So Check your owner's manual and see whether yours can use these tricks. Okay, so the one I have here is the Benro iPhoto 2 IB2 travel tripod. Underneath the central column, we have a removable cap. That's where the weight hook is. You can actually take off and remove the entire central column. This allows you to do two things. First, you can then remove one of the legs here, just by twist and twist it, and connect these two to a monopod. monopod conversion down. You shall not pass. And the second functionality is to allow you to mount this reversely so that you can get closer to the ground. So you can just feed the central column from underneath. So there's a ridge inside the central column opening. So you just need to find it and follow it. Don't force anything there. There we go. And 
as a safety reminder, please replace the weight hook. Please replace the weight hook cap on top so that in the event of this entire thing dropping, it's not going to drop everything to the ground. And now you can mount your camera upside down to get ground level shot. And if your camera has a tilt screen or very angle screen, it's going to be super helpful as well. By the way, travel tripod might also allow you to fold them up to save even more space. Unlock the central column, rise all the way up. Push in the leg a little bit, unlock these tabs, and fold. After owning your tripod and use it for a while, you might start to notice that one of the leg will start to lose its tension over here and get sloppy or just fall by itself and that's when you know you need to adjust these two hex screws on the side they do give you an allen wrench in the box however it's much easier to get two of these for easier adjustment usually the size is 3 16 of an inch so here i have two wrenches one on each side and turn both clockwise just a little bit don't overdo it otherwise the, the legs would be kind of stuck now i will demonstrate what you do when your tripod got stuck for the central column or any of the twist locks so this happens a lot to new users when they are in a panic mood or in a hurry and just untwist the entire thing and just expose all the parts so here what we have it's a plastic shim. This plastic shim is what is what keeps everything operational. If you ever took this out, whether it's for cleaning or by mistake, uh, you can put it together very easily. If you feel the inside of this opening, there's a slot, and that is for this ridge over there. So you just need to make sure to align them together. Don't just put it anywhere, just start jamming it in. So th that way you will damage it. And these are very hard to source. So find your ridge on the plastic shim and the slot on the central collar. Align them together and then drop it in. And don't force anything more. It's supposed to stop here. Find the twist lock. Slide it over the central column. Again, find the slot, align it with the ridge inside of that shim, and just insert it slowly. Find the thread and tighten everything up. If you actually use your tripod in the field, like in the sand, in the snow, in the stream, over time, you might get some obstacles stuck inside of these uh, twist locks. And that could either get these to be unsmooth or totally unusable. So you can maintain that as well. Or a newbie friend might untwist everything all the way and just remove the entire leg section. That could happen too. So if that happens, no worries, you can still fix them. So let's take a look. Find the two white plastic shims. If you lost them or yours are damaged, you can contact the retailer and hopefully they can source them for you. We put the twist lock onto the lag tube first. Align the plastic shim with the opening if they should fit flush and once you're done they should fit flush and you have one slot on each side of the tube 
So now you carefully align it and feel the inside slot inside of the tube. If you didn't do it right, they won't go in. You feel a lot of resistance. So just slowly rotate it, find the opening and put it in. Again, after cleaning the thread and loop them up, you can just tighten the twist lock all the way. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.